All right, so it's time for a tutorial to show you how you can use BitCountry Pioneer right now. Now this is due to change because they are constantly pushing updates. And so you will be expecting more updates such as how to create your metaverse uh, because you will need a wallet for that. Right now you don't need a wallet if you wanna test out creating a metaverse on the live version. Uh, but we do need to wait for more features to be released of course such as getting the land from the units auctioning for the land claiming your land etc so let's kick things off here as you can see we're on pioneer.bit.country the link can be found in the description of this video as well if you want to check it out and uh, what you can do but you don't have to do you can connect your wallet this is your polka.js wallet i have done a dedicated tutorial showing you how you can do that in the past and so check that out it should pop up on the top right hand corner of the screen but you do need to accept the terms and conditions if you do decide to connect uh, this is for them to say that this is an unaudited uh, alpha version okay so there will be more versions later on release which i'm assuming will be different because they will be audited this one is not and so that's why they're basically giving you the terms and conditions here uh, you accept this and then you just select your polka.js wallet it will find your account if you already created one account uh, which is applicable to any parachain uh, it should find it here as soon as you hit that so i'll just hit authorize here and i then need to enter the password because i do need to authorize it there so let me just do that quickly okay and now as you can see it is connecting okay i am connected now so i can see my user down on the bottom left corner of the screen and if i scroll down here i can get to uh, the actual metaverse to show you how it works and we will look at that but first i want to go through the different options so on the left hand side here there's the pioneer map and with each one there is a tutorial so i'm going to close out of it as you can see when they're going to launch the actual land block feature where you're going to be able to build your metaverse and auction for the metaverse and also claim it you will have different uh, uh, different blocks here available highlighted let's say because right now they are all grayed out so right now we've only got this one highlighted if you click it it does tell you that this spot is available on the network however the auction is uh, for this spot has not started so they are going to be enabling auctions for a lot of these spots and obviously the closer to the center you are the better it is but i'm sure it doesn't really matter if you're further away because you can jump from metaverse to metaverse so uh, that's one of the features now staking is the next feature once again you get a tutorial here on how to stake i'm going to close out of this because i already know how to stake it does tell you what is the total bit amount that you are expected to get across uh, the uh, the round so it's not just yours but everyone who's staking and so 411,108 bit are allocated per round each round is about 23 to 24 hours so you can expect a whole day for that and um, that gets distributed to all the stakers and i've estimated that it's around 0.12 bit right now for each one near that you stake now keep in mind that you do need to stake at the very least 100 near to qualify for the bit staking rewards and so all you have to do is hit stake now to enable and that's pretty much it you just select your uh, near the amount of near you want to stake and then you sign that transaction with your password next up is the marketplace and in the marketplace you could see a lot of nfts here which are available for sale for near okay you do need near for this and as you can see there are different versions of these uh, nfts uh, you can get pants for example you can get hats uh, you can even get an nft search activator and a lot of these uh, are wearables but there are also some that are utilities okay utilities for your metaverse also keep in mind that these are the genesis versions and they are limited in number so once they're sold out they're sold out that's it uh, you can also select which nft type you want and the different types that are available here as you can see 3d models estate land unit utility bundle etc there are also the metaverse ones and the collection ones if you go to nft creator you can create a brand new collection here if you are interested just hit on create new collection and you can choose the collection name you can give it a description a collection type token type as well you can make it transferable and you can add a royalty fee for your collection and then of course an image so that's pretty cool because you can mint your own nfts if you are a designer uh, i'm sure you're not allowed to use any other images copied from the internet okay so just make sure it is your own work to avoid problems down the line next up craft a metaverse object if you go to this it's the same here so you could see that we've got the different uh, authorization activator the bunker activator so these are all specific utilities and wearables for the metaverse okay these are only for the metaverse you cannot use these for anything else there's also the buy land block feature here which is not available yet so this is something that we can expect in the 
coming future. I'm sure it's going to happen sometime in October, if not this month, but I am quite uh, positive that it will happen at some point this month, likely at the end of the month. But again, with development, anything could happen, so there's no guarantee. Uh, let's go to the home section here and scroll down. So like I said to you earlier, uh, you don't actually need a wallet for this, but I am connected. So you can just try Metaverse building. It does say no wallet required. So you just hit on this. And once you click it, you just need to wait while you're entering the Metaverse. It is entering the sand pit. The sand pit is the spot where you can test things out just to see how it looks. And it gives you an estimated bit cost, which is pretty cool. So you can choose between the different resolution types, just like we could in the testnet version, as uh, if you've probably watched those tutorials I did as well. I am going to go with the low quality because I don't have a gaming laptop. So I'm just going to hit apply changes. Here it tells you the quick start guide with the buttons, what you need to actually press. So this is the standard WSAD here for walking, for running, you need to hold shift as well while you're pressing W, A, S or D. Uh, exiting is escape, which basically tells, takes you back to the menu or exiting the metaverse. And there are different features here. If you uh, move around your mouse, if you hover it around, you can move left and look left and right. Okay. Uh, so let's get straight in here. So as you can see, this is how it looks. Now, if we actually hit escape, like I said, uh, it does take you out of it. But if you click back in, it takes you back in. So that's pretty cool here. Okay. So uh, that's how it looks here. Uh, now let's uh, let's see here. So if you hit the uh, the if you have a scroll on your mouse and you, you hit the scroll down, it actually zooms out and then you can zoom in by scrolling up. Okay, so that's pretty cool because you can see your character here. And this is the sand pit as you can see. And uh, on the bottom right hand corner here, you can see the different, uh, uh, the different um, material types. Okay, so this is these are one, some of the blocks that you can create. So if you hit the left click on your uh, on your mouse, I should say right click because I'm using the left hand. So if you hit the right click on your mouse, uh, then you can place these materials just like in Minecraft, right? And maybe in other metaverses too. So you can see it is pretty cool and it's it's fast as well. Like, I mean, if you want to, you can just do this and it goes super, super fast. Okay, and just come out of this here. So yeah, and to change the material type, there is no shortcut by the looks of it. You actually hover between the different material types. So what I actually had to do is had to hit escape. I had to click on these uh, options here, the three lines, and then go to build mode. And then in build mode, you can select what type of uh, pack you want. Uh, this is the pre-genesis pack, but you can create a new pack as well. There are other objects, tools, environments, etc. Let's say, for example, you wanted to hit the, to choose the wood. Uh, you chose wood, right? So now that's selected. As you can see, it is selected here on the bottom right-hand corner. You exit out of this. And now if we right click, it is placing wood. Okay, so just like in Minecraft, very similar, but better design. Okay, so yeah. And then with the space bar, you can jump and uh, you can get on top of this right and like i said you can run if you hold the shift key on your keyboard while you're pressing the w key to go forward and also jump so uh, that's pretty much how it looks here as you can see if you haven't already noticed at the bottom right hand corner here it does tell you an estimated bit cost as well it is 15 uh, sorry 0 0.15 here uh, for what i've used so far but the more materials i use the more it adds up so as you can see i'm getting i need to pay 0 0.01 for each one a block that I'm actually placing in the metaverse. So a building can be expensive if you're building something huge. Now for something small, sure it's not, but remember you're getting 0.12 bit with each round for each one near. So the more you near your stake, the more you can build because you obviously get a lot of bit. Also one other thing to keep in mind is that every time you mint some metaverse objects, uh, for example, those uh, uh, NFT initiators and the, those other features that are available there. I think the wearables too. I haven't tested with the wearables, but every time you actually uh, buy something using bit, you're actually burning that bit. Okay. I'm not sure if this bit also gets burned. Again, okay, this is the bit cost, but I'm not sure if this bit gets burned. It could be that this bit also gets burned, but I would get confirmation from the team if that is the case. And I'll cover that in a future video. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely an interesting factor here. Keep in mind that a lot of bit is being generated every day, 411,000 per round. So every single day, 411,000. So uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to get to millions very quickly and hundreds of millions and so on, right? In the number of weeks. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, depending on the burn rate, things could be okay. So we'll have to see what it's going to be like. That's been it from today's tutorial. Thank you as always for watching. And don't forget to check this out by going straight to the link in both the pinned comment or the description of this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.